Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Palogenes first from Seth Productions and you can call me Seth Jazz. And here I'm back with another Photoshop tutorial. So it's been a while since I made a Photoshop tutorial. <laughs> As you can see on the following uploads. I uh, I only upload after the tutorial but oh the damn truck interrupts my speech. Okay, so uh, uh, not again a car okay so uh i'm back with another photoshop tutorial and today's tutorial is gonna be awesome for all the n anime fans and narrative fans so uh this, this uh photo manipulation of this thing that we're going to do is actually been famous for like um all those all those years when photoshop first came out and yeah, so it's been really famous, but I decided to uh, do the flow. Okay, so let's get started. So this is the simple way of making the shotting gun. Uh, you know the shotting gun, uh, some crap like that. And yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so first off, you should close your Photoshop. No, no, open, open Photoshop. So here's the a bit of free preview of what we're going what we're going to be doing so uh yeah let's just close that and close the crap nope okay first off go to file file open and find the image that you want so um i really i really i really recommend uh hd image for like for uh you know for for editing because High definition images are much more easier to edit and more fun to edit because you're going to uh, like the results. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing. So here's an image of my friend. She's a girl and she's like she likes Na Naruto. So I decided to make an effect. So she took a picture of her of herself with a with her camera and he focused and he focused on the eyes. So. Yeah, so let's get started. Okay, after you found an image that you want, might wanna go to file, open, and then find an image of a uh, sharing gun. I think it's here. Oh no, it's probably a Photoshop folder. So sorry. So uh, here's a bit of mine. It's uh, it's um. Uh, Mungekyo shotting gun. I think it's Sasuke's shotting gun. I don't watch Naruto that of that often. So uh, did I, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Keep calm. Okay, so drag the image to the the photo that you just sent. So as you can see, it's so big. So what you might want to do is hit Control T and then hold Alt Shift and then drag the corners and make it small. Not small as that. Okay, so after that, hit the check mark tool, and then we're going to the quick selection tool. Just click it on the corner, and then press delete. Another corner, delete, and another corner, delete, and another corner, delete. So this just that just cleans up the white background. After that, hit Control D to deselect. Okay, let's move on to the uh, move tool and hit Control T again, size it down. Also, we're gonna change the opacity really down so we can see what we're making. We want, we want, we want to, we want to place the uh, sharing gun perfectly to the eye and crop the the vehicles. Or my house are so noisy. I apologize for that. So, uh, yeah, place the sharing gun right into the eye. So maybe I'll switch it up a little bit. Make it fit. So uh, that's fine for me. Hit the check mark, and then bring the opacity back to a hundred, and then change the blend mode of the sharing gun to uh, around um, screen. You can do screen or light, and I prefer light and more because it's more detail. Detail. So detail. Okay. I'm sorry for my pronunciation. Okay. So once the layer, the sharing gun layer is selected, also we want to rename it to. Sharing. Let's make it more, uh, you know, 
I want to manage things. Okay, select the shrinking layer and hit this button over here. It makes it a layer mask. So now you'll have a layer mask. Now go now go to your brush tool. And then as you can see there are edges that we don't want to see when we are making the effect. So what we're gonna do is se select select the layer mask when you'll see when it you'll notice that there are corners that means you your you the layer mask is being selected and then go to your brush tool make sure your foreground color is black and you just you just might want to brush here oh yeah so basically a layer mask is um i don't know how to explain it's just full of crap <laughs> i'm just kidding okay so uh, get rid of the white edges Ooh, that's okay if you uh accidentally um erase some parts of the gecko that's that's okay okay after that go to move tool and then hit control t right click and then wah so uh why um let me explain first so why do we want to warp it because we don't want the shine gun looking at the front we want it looking into the side not the front because basically her eyes are not focused in here it's focused on so there maybe she's looking at something some crap okay so we want to warp it control T right click warp so we want to place it perfectly to make it blend well just warp it until you find something that you'll like it, until you find something that fits with the uh, eye I'm making uh, yeah. so basically this tutorial is all about making a sharing gun for the for people who have black eyes not being racist though but people who have black eyes because I've seen a lot of tutorials and I try to follow them but basically those tutorials won't work on black eyes because I eyes of Asians are you know black and doesn't fit with the uh, sharing gun too well so yeah this tutorial is all about um making a sharing gun on a black eye although this won't work if your image is low quality because it will look like shit trust me okay now warp there wait just give it a moment let's see what we're making okay that looks good but we want to make it more a bit up and there, there I'll move it a little there put the check mark and benga oh benga is just it's just a phrase that I use with my friends <laughs> never mind it so uh, here, here it is so it's turning out pretty good but we want make, to make it more realistic so go again go to your layer mask make sure it's selected and then go to your brush and then just fade some parts of the gekyo to you know make it more blend with the eye to make it more realistic and also get rid of the sharp edge over there blend it well. so as you can see it blends well with the uh, eye right now so basically we're down with the left eye now Sef Jazz, how do we put the shine gun on the other eye? Well, I'm gonna teach you that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is um, Control J to duplicate the layer, and then the Move tool, and then we have this. So uh, let's just lower the opacity to uh, make it look to so it can blend with the eye, and then Control T size it down to blend it with the eye. Well, around there, get the check mark capacity up to 100 and then again I'm going control T war I'm gonna warp it again my friends so basically you want to warp it to blend well with the eyes uh, yeah warps 
I love warping. I really do. Oh man, this will take forever. I'm just kidding. Did it take more? Okay, so we wanna size it down a bit more. There. So as you can see, it looks like crap. But don't worry, we'll make it more realistic. So there's a layer mask, click the layer mask and hit the brush tool just remove some of the sharp edges that you see and there you go you're finished no i'm just kidding that looks like crap okay so as you can see and remove this it's a bit blurred it's a bit blurred here on the side so uh so this one is not blurred so what we're gonna do is go to a uh, filter blur gaussian blur and make that around to um Oh, I'm sorry. I selected the layer mask. Select so this layer, the original layer. You're gonna go to filler, blur, Georgian blur. And make it around 1.6 or 1.7 or 1.8, but this is too much. Around 250, it will make it gone. And around 0.1, it looks like crap. So I really recommend around 1.6 yeah so hit ok so uh, yeah so uh, that's basically it um <laughs> it's, it's just a basic tutorial for for uh, people who are looking for a basic charming tutorial and those for uh, who are new in photoshop so uh yeah I, I know it's been a while since uh, i uploaded videos of after effects tutorial because i i can came up with a with an idea of our next tutorial for after effects but yeah, pretty much next week. Next week, man, is our vacation. It's our summer vacation. I'll try my best to upload videos every day. Isn't that cool, guys? Every day tutorial. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I'll give it a try. I'll give it a shot. So as you can see, I've, up, I've upgraded my desktop. I blended with Rainmeter. And so uh, if you're, you're asking, if you're asking, Whoa, bro! Your desktop background is so cool. I want that shit and everything. Now I can give it to you because this was actually a giveaway from a YouTube uh, uh, a YouTube user whose YouTube account. Um, uh, this was actually a free giveaway of a uh, YouTuber named Chichichegat.com, Chichichegat's clan, or whatever the hell you want to call them. And I and I re and I really recommend checking out their tutorial because that's where I learned, guys. That's where I learned Photoshop and After Effects. So yeah, check their channel out. And if you want the background, check their channel out. If you want some more Photoshop tutorial, check their channel out. But I do recommend checking out their channel. But still, subscribe to us. We may not be the best, but we will try to be the best. I'm just kidding. So, uh, thanks for watching. This is found, this, again, this is Seth Jazz from Seth Productions. I'll see you on, I'll see you on next week's tutorial. Good night.